there's been some talk in the Android gaming subreddit about being able to run games at the native screen resolution on Samsung Galaxy smartphones and tablets. A user found out that even when you enable the 1440p screen resolution option in the settings, games will only run at a max of 1080p. This seems to happen with everything that Samsung's One UI OEM ROM detects as a game, even if you're using an emulator app or a game streaming service like Moonlight and Steam Link. It's also presumed that this is happening with NVIDIA and Microsoft's game streaming services as well using their built-in apps. When the issue is brought up to Samsung, users are instructed to download an application called Game Booster Plus from the Galaxy Store to manually adjust the settings on an individual game basis. And I'm going to try and record a video about that soon. But today, I want to show you a feature that is built into Samsung's One UI firmware that enables you to monitor stats like frames per second, CPU load, GPU load, and even the screen resolution that your application or game is currently running at. To begin, we first need to enable a feature called developer mode. Now I have already recorded a video here on the channel showing all of the steps involved in that process. So if you're not familiar with how to make the hidden developer options menu appear in the settings app, be sure to check the video description below to find a link that will show you how that is done. Once developer mode has been enabled, we will then need to open up the settings application and scroll all the way down to the bottom to reveal the developer options menu. Here is the place you'll find all sorts of optional toggles and switches for various tools. These features are usually geared toward developers, but there are also some nice user-friendly features that get tucked away in here as well. So if we scroll down almost to the bottom, you should see a section labeled games with a feature called GPU watch. We can tap that. This is going to be disabled by default, but again, we can go into here to tap this toggle and enable the GPU watch feature on Samsung Galaxy devices. Once enabled, this feature will overlay a few widgets on your screen to help you monitor some useful stats. Again, like CPU load and GPU load percentages, your current average frames per second, and even the screen resolution that your application or game is currently rendered at. So we can test this by opening up a game or a, an application. And on the screen, you're gonna see those various stats. Again, from your current average FPS, to your CPU and GPU load percentages, the screen resolution that it's currently being rendered at, the graphics API that's currently being used, and the driver type. This is how people are discovering Samsung's firmware is reducing the screen resolution of their games even when they set the display to run at 1440p. But again, this is also a great way to monitor useful stats while playing a game on your Samsung smartphone or tablet. We are able to customize these widgets in the GPU watch section of the developer options menu with things like the background color, the update interval, the transparency, the graph grid, the margins. You can even customize the individual widgets by making them larger, smaller, changing the name, 
removing it entirely, or adding additional stats to a particular widget. For example, maybe you don't want three separate widgets for this data. You can come in here and add additional stats to these specific widgets. This feature is built into Samsung's One UI OEM ROM, and it is a great way to find out how the mobile games you play are performing on your device.